Hi guys, what's going on? Um, today I'm stuck at home. Um, I'm quite busy this weekend actually um, with like, decorating and and it's um, a family member's birthday as well, so I'm going out for that. Um, so I haven't got a lot of time. And also, um, if you haven't heard, um, in the UK and many Europe as well, we've been having Storm Emma and it's been blowing snow everywhere. It's been really bad this week, so it's a bit tricky to get out as well. Um, take a look. Now today, what I wanted to show you was a little thing that I did. Uh, I did a photo shoot uh, not long ago, a few months ago, and it was um, a little girl, and it was a Rapunzel, a Disney Rapunzel themed uh, shoot. And what I wanted to do was the scene where she's in the boat and she lets off the lantern. I wanted to capture that. So uh, take a look at these three pictures that I took. So that's the pictures that I took. Um, the lantern that she's holding, I had to make that and improvise a bit. Um, I didn't want to Photoshop it all because it just wouldn't look right. And I think making stuff for a shoot and preparing yourself is, is a good thing to do. Um, so today I wanted to show you just what I did to make that lantern. So if you look on my table, I've got a few things. I've got a couple of flashes. One's a wireless flash, um, the Nissan uh, DI700A. Um, comes with a, a wireless trigger, which is pretty cool. And this one is a new year um, TT520 and it's only a you have to sort of punch it in yourself and uh, it's not great but for this I think it would uh, do the job I've got some uh, grease proof paper or tissue paper is a lot better um, but you could use this as well I've got um, some orange folders and I'll tell you why in a minute some sellotape and this is a lampshade got from a home store a few pound it, this one's battered and it's got butterflies on it it's all battered it's got a few jewels on it and that and it's a bit it's got a bit of rust on it now but this is going to be your lantern um, and what we're going to do with it is we're going to cover it with the paper and stick it down and this is going to be the base for your lantern so let's do that now so now I've covered the, uh, the lampshade with the paper I've only done a rough job it's not great, this is kind of what I did on the day actually. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, just make sure it sticks well because with kids handling it and that, it, it might fall to pieces and you don't want that on a shoot. Um, but yeah, that's that. All right, now the next job is, we have, I've brought a tripod with me. This is the one I used. It's not a brilliant tripod, I recommend using these because when you, once you've opened it up, the handles sort of get in the way and stuff, so I'd use one that's got less bits. This is more for film rather than uh, taking pictures. But this is the one I used. So basically I just stuck my uh, flash on there and I'd actually uh, Turned it round, I believe. Turned the head down and pointed the flash up towards the ceiling. It sort of 
pushes the flash out away from the stand a bit. Now, then what I did on the shoot, um, I got the, the girl to, once we were ready, to hold this over the flash and she could rest it on top of the flash. And just, she was sat on a, on a stool here and she would hold it up and once we take the picture, the flash would go off and flash out of the lantern and it would like glow a face up as well. The problem I had on the shoot was that the, the flash, the colour of the flash was too white, too clean and for a lantern that's supposed to be um, lit by fire and a flame, uh, needs to be orange. So this is where your folders come in. Now, yes, you can buy uh, gels for your flashes online, but I just literally went to the shop and bought these folders. Oh no, orange color. And I cut a square out and I stuck it on top with some sellotape and it did the best job. So I'm going to do that now, let's uh, cut a square out of here, it doesn't have to be perfect. So, and you can double them up if you need it a brighter orange or just use what I used which is just one piece which is folded in half. So we stuck that on top of the flash and with some sellotape and it was good to go. So now I've got the uh, bit of the folder on top of the flash and put it back onto the uh, tripod like so and once it flashes, let's test it, it should flash orange. There you go. Now, so all you need to do now is put the lantern over the top of the flash and when we test it, it flashes orange. Simple as that. Um, so, a few things to know. Uh, I used a, for the picture, here's the raw picture. And as you can see, there's no, no background. I used a black background on a, a stand and I got her to sit on a, a little stool and to hold the uh, lantern up. I took the picture at F9, ISO 100, uh, 130 frames a second. This is so the background is dark uh, enough, but the flash isn't too bright for the camera. Having taken the picture, I thought the picture was too dark and orange um, for what I wanted. So what I did, instead of turning the camera up, what I did is I got another flash, I got my wireless flash, and I set it up to the side and pointed it down towards her. And I used one of these. It's an umbrella, a photography umbrella, and it's reflected inside. And you put your flash, the flash goes in the middle, like, the, like so. And that just softens the, the uh, flash up a bit. It gives nice uh, shadows and stuff. And I set that off the side. If you look at this diagram, I set the tripod up. Um, just right next to her, uh, so she can hold the lantern over the top, and the umbrella was just behind it, off to the side, pointing directly down at her, um, maybe a, 
a feet, a foot above her, not that much. Just to lighten her face up um, and her hands um, and her, her eyes. Yeah, so the, the picture actually turned out really well and she loved it. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to this channel, like this video and I'll see you next week. Um, at the end of this video I'm just going to show you a quick um, edit of what I did to get to the raw picture to the end uh, product. I uh, hope you like it and I'll see you next time.